Media. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Media Channel. I'm your host, William Hugh. Now, video watcher and media mate Rob Charles left a comment recently asking if I could show how to set up a Zoom H1 recorder like this for use with a Lavalier or lapel microphone like this. Well, I can certainly show you how I do it, Rob. It goes a bit like this. The Zoom H1 is the iconic sound recorder beloved of indie filmmakers and YouTubers, and it can be used on everything from boom poles to lapel microphones which is mainly how I use my own. And here is my trusty H1, now three years old, but still working as well as the day I bought it. It's also light on power consumption, requiring just one AA battery, which in my experience lasts for ages. Although I always keep a spare with me, just in case. So let's set this bad boy up for use with a Lavalier mic. First, check out the controls on the back of the unit. Make sure the low cut filter is set to off. This filter is there to reduce wind noise on the microphone by removing the lower frequencies, but it also affects the overall sound quality. So turn it off. If it's windy, it's always better to put a foam wind muffler on your microphone. Next, turn the auto level off. This control is there to automatically reduce the recording level when the sound gets too loud and is in danger of clipping or distorting. But the effect is pretty awful, and it's much better to adjust the levels manually. Finally, switch the recording format to WAV. This is an uncompressed format, which is much higher quality because it keeps more of the information, although it does take up a little more space than MP3s. Next, we need to choose the bitrate that will produce the best quality with the lowest memory space consumption. So, switch the recorder on by sliding and holding the ON switch here, and you will be welcomed by a HI message. Then, once the SD card has been accessed, you will see the present bitrate displayed here. By using the fast forward and rewind buttons here, you can now run through the available bitrates. And the one we need for the best quality with the lowest memory space consumption is 44 stroke 16. Excellent, now let's set up the mic. Clip the mic in the position it will be used. And try to position it so that rubbing on clothing is minimised, as the mic will pick up the noise. Now plug it into the mic line in socket, which is here. Now don't confuse this with the line out socket on the other side of the case. That is for monitor headphones and not microphones. Ideally, it's best to use a mic with an angled plug like this, as this will prevent stress on the socket, which in the long run could produce damage, leading to interference on your recording. With the zoom turned on and your mic plugged in, you don't have to press the record button yet, speak at the volume you will be speaking at when you come to make your recording, and you will see the levels shown here. Now using the level control here, Try to adjust the level so that the loudest bit will peak no higher than, say, about minus six. This will give you a nice strong signal with minimal chance of clipping. And that's it! You're all set up to go. Just press the big red record button, and just check the counter to make sure that it is recording, and slide the on off button into the hold position, so they can't be accidentally changed or turned off during your recording. You can now place the recorder in your pocket or other hidey hole, and make your recording. Transferring the files to your computer. Once your recording is finished, unplug your mic, unlock the recorder, and press the record button once again to stop the recording. You can now slide and hold the on off button to the off position to turn the machine off. Although the recording is now on the micro SD card, which is here, there is no need to remove it to access your recording. Making sure the recorder is switched off, just attach it via the supplied USB lead to your computer. The recorder will auto-detect the connection, turn itself on, and just take a few seconds to access the audio card. When it does, the initials USB will be displayed on its screen, and this box should pop up on your computer screen. To find the files, just click on Open Folder to view files, then click on Stereo, then Folder, and there are all the files on your recorder. From here, it is simply a matter of dragging your files onto the desktop. So there you are, that's how easy it is to set up your Zoom with a lav mic.
And by the way, if you haven't got a Zoom but are thinking of buying one, you can find an Amazon link in the write-up below. Well, that's your lot for this episode. If you have enjoyed it, then don't forget to like, comment and share. And if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe thingy. Because that way, I'll see you here next time and every time. On, On the, the Media, Media Channel. Channel.